In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to assemble the frame for a pan tilt assembly. And uh, here are the parts we'll be needing for this. Uh, we have, of course, a couple of micro servos that we'll be using for the pan and tilt motion. Um, we have, uh, you need a screwdriver. Generally with the servos, you get an assortment of uh, servo horns or connections. Um, depending on which types of horns you may uh, have received with your servo, you may need to cut a couple of them to actually fit into the assembly. So we'll talk about that shortly uh, when we get to the actual assembly. Here's the pan tilt um, brackets that I got and I will post a link to these in the resources uh, section of the video. So it actually comes with four pieces that you'll need to put together. All right, and also um, you should get an assortment of screws that you would definitely need to put everything together. So um, those are all the parts that you uh, will be needing for the construction of the frame. I must admit um, there is not a whole lot of documentation out there on this. So it's not the most intuitive, uh, but I'm, I'm going to go through it step by step to hopefully make it uh, clear on exactly how everything is connected together. Okay, so first we're going to start with the actual base of the assembly. And what you'll need here is actually a servo horn, sort of in a cross shape. Um, some of the servo kits do not come with uh, a horn that fits exactly in here. So, the closest that I have in the uh, collection of servo horns that I got was this particular one. And uh, as you can see, it cannot fit exactly in here. So what we'll need to do is we'll actually have to cut off the ends. You can cut off the ends probably, you know, about uh, around here up to three or four notches. You'll have to cut it. You can cut it with an X-Acto knife or a scissors or any tool that you have. And uh, once you cut it, then we should be able to actually fit it in here. Okay, so I'm gonna actually try to use a scissors here to cut that, or you can use a, a X-Acto knife or whatever you may have. So I'm gonna cut that. All right, so that's, that's one that's cut. I'll cut the other end. And I left about three holes, basically, about three holes. I'll just trim that a little bit more. Okay. So there when it's cut, we're gonna try to see if we can fit it in now into the assembly. All right, so as you can see, it needs to be uh, cut a little bit more to fit in. So I'll just trim that up a little more. Also, what you'll notice is sometimes it might be a little bit too wide. So we actually have to trim, uh, trim these to make them a little narrower. So you can use an X-Acto knife and you can uh, trim these. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, as you'll see, I managed to trim the edges and kind of get it, was able to get it down to size. Now I can fit it in the assembly itself. And as you can see, now uh, it fits in there nice and snug. So now we have to actually screw this in place and there would be some tiny screws that you can use that would come with part of your kit, very, very tiny. And we're gonna screw those in to hold this horn in place. So I'm gonna try to get that done. You know, it's very tiny. So I'm gonna put a screw on, on each of the edges. One screw on this particular side here. 
uh, on the other side and each of the four corners where you see the actual holes you have to put those screws in so I'll go ahead and do that now all right so I'm putting in the last of the screws in there I'm gonna screw this in okay so that's all done so as you can see um, there are four screws in there and now that horn is securely in place all right so next we'll take uh, the actual uh, one of the servos and what I've done is I've just put some uh, tape around this servo just to make it fit a little more snugly in place and you're gonna take the actual um, uh, end of the servo and you're gonna push that into the servo horn all right make sure it's in place and now that's securely connected so that is the base uh, of our pan tilt swivel next we're going to take these two parts and we're going to wrap these around the servo so one on this side and one on the other side so it should fit you know snugly together um, as I said by including that tape around the servo it uh, actually helps to make sure it fits more snugly and then you'll notice that uh, there are a couple of screws that you can uh, screw in to make sure that these are firmly in place so uh, I'm going to use a couple of those screws So when you're connecting these screws to this, uh, these two holes, look for those screws that have that uh, serrated edge. All right, so they look like these. So I'll go ahead and connect those. should tighten them up all right so now uh, that should hold our assembly in place the base there so next after connecting the base the base servo we have to connect the top servo to the actual uh, uh, top bracket that actually does the tilting so uh, this is how you have to line it up actually take the servo and place it in all right with the uh, circular hole on this side flat side of the servo and you'll notice that it lines up for a couple of screws to be put in place When you're connecting the top servo, you want to make sure that it's uh, in place. And before you screw anything in, you should make sure that uh, the two pieces connect together first. That's going to save you some trouble. And uh, once that's in place, then you can proceed to screw in these top connections to firmly secure the top servo to the bracket. So I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so that's a, one of the screws. And there's another screw that goes in on the other side. gonna have to move things a little bit around to get to it but here you go screw that in and once that's in place we're almost done we take a, a servo horn and we connect that servo horn it should fit nicely uh, in the actual 
bracket here and then there's one more screw that we have to apply here to secure that horn to the servo. So I'll go ahead and screw that in place. All right, so that should complete our uh, assembly for our pan tilt. As you can see, the base uh, sort of came out when I was moving stuff around, so I'll just go ahead and secure that in. So there you have it. All right, this is the base. Uh, this will do actually the panning, and the top will do the actual tilting. So there is our pan tilt assembly with our two servo motors and everything should be all hooked up together nicely.